My name is Lauren Shockey, and I'm the author of Four Kitchens, a culinary memoir which recounts the year I spent working in restaurants around the world. And in addition to the memoir, there are about 60 recipes from the book, which I think you'll enjoy. So I've made a couple of them today, which I could share with you. So the first one is a lamb meatball recipe, which comes from my time working at WD-50. And WD-50 is an experimental molecular gastronomy restaurant. The problem with that, though, is a lot of those dishes are hard to replicate at home. But family meal was a time when we just made dinner for the staff, and it was just sort of the fun flavors that everyone can do in their home kitchen. And it's really tasty. You just sear them off. You can even make the meatballs the night before and then make them the day of, and it's great. So the next place that I went to was Vietnam. And I went to Vietnam because I really love Vietnamese food and was just really attracted to the flavors of the country. And this salad, which is a watermelon tomato salad, uses some of those herbs that I love, like mint and basil and perilla, and it's just a great vibrant salad. And then after Vietnam, I went to Tel Aviv, and I apprenticed at a restaurant called Carmela Bistro, but I really became more interested in home cooking, and I began having dinner parties with my newfound friends there. And one of the dishes we would make would be hummus, which is made from pureed chickpeas. And it's great party food. You can use it with pita bread to spoon it up. It has a little bit of fried onion on top, so it just has a great crunch. Everyone loves it. It's simple to do, five minutes or less. And then finally, I went to Paris. And what I really love about French food are French desserts. And for this recipe, it's an almond tart. But what's really great about it is that it uses a technique to make tart dough in which you boil water and butter and a little bit of oil, and then you just dump the flour straight in. And it's great because normally when you make tarts, you have to roll it out and let it sit in the refrigerator. And it's really just a time commitment that most people don't want to commit to. So this dough, it's ready in about half an hour. The tart from start to finish, 45 minutes. It's great, and everyone loves it. So those are some of the recipes I made on my trip, and I hope that you'll enjoy them in four kitchens.